Hello my friends, so happy new year and lockdown would you believe it still, uh, day 11 but with a botanical eye. So here we are with our Scots pine tree, so I wanted to look at this with you. How do we know it's a Scots pine? So it's a Scots pine, if you look at a Scots pine from a distance you'll notice it's got a brown bark towards the bottom and then towards the top it becomes an orangey colour. So the top of the trunk is orange and the branches are an orangey colour. Also, if you look at the shape of a Scots pine tree, it's not a traditional triangle, a Christmas tree shape. It has clusters towards the top of the leaves, towards the top of the branches. So almost like a cauliflower, broccoli type shape towards the top. If you look at the needles of the Scots pine, the needles come off in pairs. So if you look at the base of the needle, you'll see what's called a fascicle. And the needles are also slightly twisted. So that's a key ID feature of the Scots pine too. If you tear the needles in half of the Scots pine, you'll see that there are, it's very fibrous. So one way I say to students you can remember Scots pine is think of the ginger hairy highlander. You've got your Scots pine. So here we have the pine cone. So as you can see, it's not hugely big, through three to five centimetres. Takes about 20 months to ripen. And is a, this pine seed is a really fabulous nutritional snack for many creatures. Here we have the pine cone once it's been stripped by a squirrel. So that's a nice thing to look for under your tree.